Okay, looking at practical workshop uh, for natural lighting, specifically looking at daylight factor. So I've got my plan in my section here. Um, I'm starting to gather my room data. What do I need my room data for? Well, actually, my calculation here, daylight factor calculation, requires window area, transmittance, uh, visible angle sky, uh, area of um, floor, and reflectances of my surfaces. So let's start. First of all, I've got to think, what am I going to be measuring my day, my daylight factor um, in spot A or spot B. Now actually I'm expecting a daylight factor to be, to be different. The amount of daylight that's coming into the room will be different depending on how close you are to the window. So my expectation is that A, because it's close to the window, will be higher than B. So let's test this, shall we? Okay, so first up, look at our floor areas. Okay, um, absolutely fine, we can measure that. Same with window areas and glazed door. I'm going to have them as the same for the purpose of this investigation. You might want to separate them if they are made from different glazing types because they will have a different gla uh, glazing transmittance. However, for the purpose of this, I put them as the same. And again, for the wall um, wall areas, um, we've got them just measured them by taking measuring the, the whole wall, taking away the windows, um, and there we go, total wall area. Um, total room surface then is your walls, your windows, okay, and then we've got to think about the floor, but we've also got to think about the ceiling, which is why I've multiplied the floor area by two there, okay. So once you've got your total room surface area, so that's all of the surfaces that the light is going to be internally reflecting um, upon, um, that's fine. What we then move on to look at is the glazing. So the, the, the light that's coming through um, is going to be affected by the transmittance. So British standards or manufacturer details for that. You can have a look. Uh, visible sky angle. I've done a little drawing here to show you as closely as possible what happens there. Um, depending on how close you are to the window, you see more of the sky than if you're further away. Oh, uh, that's nice to know. Well, there's a building in the way here, so that would reflect that externally reflected component will come in from the building. However, we're looking for how much of the actual skylight is coming in, and that's what we call sky components. So that's your visible angle of the sky. And then your average surface reflectance internally. So what we're we looking at is going to bounce off all these. So I've used SIBSI Guide L10. Charters Institute of Building Services Engineers is SIBSI. Uh, they have hundreds of guidance for things like lighting um, I'd use them and yeah that's that so once I've got all those figures in the table for A and B I just put them in so I've just put all the numbers in and I come up with daylight factor A is 7 and daylight factor B is 5 now that makes sense because I'm close to the window at A so I'm expecting it to be higher okay um, so that's that for now then we have a little look and we say well I've got what were, what were my values? 7.87 and 5.28. Now, if you have a look at this table here, this is SIB, this is, oh, sorry, this is um, your recommendations for minimum and average daylight factors. So your you can do what we did there, where you can plot points. You can plot points wherever you want in the room. You could maybe go to your darkest point and your lightest point to see the difference. Or you could do a grid like I've sort of drawn out here and do a measure at each point. Uh, what the daylight factor is and then that, that will give you a nice clear indication throughout the room how much daylight factor is in each space. So given that information, um, I've got Golding et al. Uh, in 1994 which says 2% in the centre of a kitchen and 1% in the centre of a living room is what we should be looking for. However, moving on, we have Lewis and Sibsey which say, well actually we need a minimum of the whole space um, and then we want an average as well. So this means that we can sort of say, well, this is what we want the actual, the daylight factor needs to average and it needs to have a minimum as well. You can't have a really, really dark space um, anywhere. So uh, 0 0.6, 0 0.5, 2 and 1.5. Given that ours was 5 and 7, we're absolutely fine. So we adhere with the with the value, so that's great. Um, so there's apps that can help you. So here's an app that I found. And also Sibsi, uh, my go-to for all things lighting. Um, so I have a little look at here. There's some information there on reflectances and also transmittance values that you might want to use. All right. Thanks a lot for your time. Take care. Bye.